guys, if you're looking for Madden Ultimate Team coins at some of the cheapest prices on the market, make sure you check out my new sponsor, utnfl.com, and use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 5% discount. Hey, what is up, guys? Clickwood here, back again with another Madden Mobile video. Guys, today we're going to be ripping some packs, trying to get the new Season Stars items that were added into the game. Today, guys, we have a Doug Baldwin 97 overall. Um, now, obviously, guys, this is a beast-ass card here. Take a look at these attributes. 95 speed, 94 acceleration, 96 agility, 95 catching. I mean, this is a very, very good wide receiver. If he was a little bit taller, he might be one of the better receivers in the game. He's definitely up there, but I don't think he's quite at, like, the Randy Moss level, for example. But definitely a really good card. And then we also have a Carlos Dunlop, another 97 overall here, guys. 85 speed, 86 excel. Very, very nice attributes overall. 94 tackling. I mean, this these cards are very, very good, guys, to be honest with you. So, uh, we're definitely going to try and get ourselves some things that we need to actually get those players. See if we can maybe get, like, a Devontae Booker here. They have him showing as well. Not the best card. 95 acceleration is nice, but 91 speed isn't particularly great right now at this point in the game. It's only a 91 overall. But, obviously, you need them to complete some of those sets. So... Uh, what we're going to do today, guys, we're going to go in here and rip open our packs. We do have the opportunity to open up an unlimited number of the Season Stars packs. But for today's video, I'm just going to open up like, I don't know, maybe 10 of them or so. I don't already have them pre predetermined. So uh, we're just going to open up, open them up until I'm feeling pretty good about how many have opened up. I don't want to open up a ton of them because I don't think these Season Stars are going to be like the most valuable ones that we get. But uh, they should be decent anyway. So, obviously, guys, we do get a couple of the Season Star banners. We get a couple of Season Star players or at least one Season Star player. Um, but what we're trying to do, guys, is get some of those elites because the elites are the ones that are worth something. The golds have a little bit of value. They're better than, like, a standard gold card. But they don't really have a whole lot of value, unfortunately. So, uh, hopefully, we get something good here. But I want to hear from you guys, man. What do you guys think about the Season Stars promo overall? If we get a Quentin Dial there... Um, this is, again, from the Unsung Heroes Sidekick Editions. Um, not really much value on this one, unfortunately, because we've got to get, like, the high overall. It's got to be, like, the one that's, like, 87 or 88 overall, if I remember correctly. Maybe it's 89. I don't know. But still at least a little bit of value. Um, but uh, what do you guys think about the Season Stars overall? Do you think it's kind of, like, do you think it's weird that a guy like Carlos Dunlop's getting a 97 overall card at this point in the season? I mean, obviously... We start to get to the point eventually where they just start to give everybody freaking 99 overalls practically. Like, kind of gets ridiculous after a while. But, I mean, it feels to me like it's a little early in the season to be giving guys like that 97 overall cards. Not that Carlos Dunlop's bad. Don't get me wrong. And we get a Mike Purcell there. Um, another one of those sidekick edition cards. But, uh, you know, again, not like I'm disrespecting Doug Baldwin or Carlos Dunlop. But, like, 97 overall for those guys I think seems a little high to me. What do you guys think about it overall? What like do you think that they should be, um, you know, like going to guys that had a little bit better seasons? Like I, I don't know what I'm what I'm really getting at. It was like, you know, random throwback collectible here. It's not bad. We'll take that. Um, I don't know. I just think it's a little bit weird. I just think it's a little weird. I don't know. Um, I, I would love to see like, uh, you know, like guys who had a little bit more maybe of like breakout seasons kind of a thing. Or, um, I don't know, veterans or, I, like, guys who have been doing it for a really long time that are consistently good. Doug Baldwin's been, like, solid, but, like, he's never, other than the past two years, has he been, like, a really top-flight receiver. So it seems kind of, and, and this past year, honestly, he really wasn't. Um, he had some good games here and there, but not really anything spectacular. So I think it's a little bit weird, but I want to hear from you guys on that. What do you guys think about that? And we're just not getting a damn thing out of these packs. So I think we're going to open up two more. And if we don't get anything, that'll end the video. If we do get something, I'll be happy with that. But hopefully we pull something good here, man. Hopefully we pull something good. We're getting some season stars players, but not like not getting a lot of them or anything. Unfortunately, we're just getting like the bare minimum amount. And we haven't even pulled, like, a base elite. Granted, we pulled a couple of the unsung heroes, so I shouldn't be too upset about that. But anyway, guys, that, unfortunately, is going to do it for this video. It was a little quick one, but I uh, just wanted to show you guys the new season stars. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did, make sure that you drop a like on it. And let me know in the comment section below, again, what you think about the season stars promo overall. Thanks again, guys. And I will talk to you all again soon.